Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to put together some exercises for you guys to be doing while you're not in the water to really help you guys keep your shoulders nice and strong. All of these can be done at home um, with or without equipment. We'll go through that later. Let's start off doing these three times a week. And then after that, let's build up to five times a week. And then you can um, add in additional reps or um, additional sets as you guys get stronger and you can handle more. Um, we're starting out with some really basic things. Some of you have done this with me in the past on the pool deck. Um, we're gonna start with really small um, arm circles, just really small movements. You can do this for 30 seconds or until you can no longer go, okay? So we'll say until failure. So you'll start to feel your arms get pretty sore pretty quickly. Um, but I would say start with 30 seconds as you guys get used to these exercises, okay? So you want these to be really small. Um, even from your vantage point, you might not be able to even see my arms moving, um, but they are just moving really small, side to side, keeping your arms in that T position. Okay, so you can do this for 30 seconds, and then you can rest, and then you can do it again, or you can do all of these as one big circuit. Okay, so the second thing you can do is you can do this on the corner of your bed or you can just do it bent over, um, just some rows. Um, you are going to be lifting from your shoulder blades, okay, you're not going to be hunching your shoulders, okay, so you're just going to go through this, I would say, 10 times, okay, so up and hold and then down. Notice my thumbs are pointing forward, my fists are right below my shoulders, elbows are nice and locked, okay, so reach all the way up and squeeze and hold and then down and release, okay? So do this 10 times, really focusing on a good tight squeeze of your shoulder blades, okay? All the way up and all the way down. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just do some front raises. Um, you can do these with weight, I would, again, your shoulders, um, as strong as they are, heavy weight is kind of hard on them, so start with something light. Um, I'm gonna use soup cans, this is something most of you should have at home. Again, you could also do this with no weight at all. Try to roll forward all the way up and then down. Again, keeping your elbows locked, okay? And then your arms are moving as one piece from your shoulders to your fists. All the way up, try to roll your hands forward, okay? Instead of just throwing them up and swinging. Okay, and hold and then down. Okay, and then now we're gonna go to the side with we'll lateral raises. Okay, so again, thumbs are forward. You can do this with or without weight. Hands stay at your side, and then just go all the way up to that T position that you're working on before with your arm circles. All the way up, hold, and squeeze. So this is really good posture building exercises too. So anytime you're sitting down in a chair, always kind of think about getting into this position, not rolling your shoulders forward, okay? Keeping your shoulders back. And again, you can do this 10 times. Or if you really want to do this to failure and have some more time, do that. Okay. All right. Next one, we're going to do scap raises. Again, I would say do this against a wall. You want the bottom of your spine and all the way up to your shoulders to be flat. Okay. You can also do this just in place. Okay. If you're feeling confident, you're going to start here. Go all the way up, all the way down. When you do this, you don't want to have any space between your body and the wall, and I, I would do this against the wall, it's better to keep your form that way. And again, 10 times, you'll, you'll notice it gets hard to keep your hands, your elbows, and your shoulders all against the wall as you do these, so do them nice and slow as you're beginning. Okay, all the way up, good tight streamline, all the way back. Again, really working on holding those shoulder blades nice and tight. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, you can do this on the floor, you can do this on your bed, um, you're going to be in your T position, we'll go sideways, hinge at your waist, or be on your, um, whatever it is you're laying on, again, you can go on the floor too. You're going to have your thumbs up, you're in your T position, and you're just going to lift and hold, and then down. Lift and hold, and then down. Again, you can go through that 10 times, or you can go until failure. Um, I would, again, do that whole circuit three times, three times a week for the first week, and then build up to five times. Um, last thing I'm going to have you do is in the little challenge, you can time yourself and see how long you can hold this. Okay, palms are up for this one. Okay, and you're just going to hold this position as long as you can. Okay, again, you can start off no weight, and then as you're getting stronger, feeling a little more confident, you can hold those soup cans, these are about a pound a piece. 
Okay, if you don't have soup cans, you're running out of soup, eating lots of soup, water bottles filled with water, also a nice little added weight. Okay, I would not go more than five pounds for these because those shoulder muscles do get a little, little tender. Okay, make sure that somebody's helping you out, watching you do this, bring mom and dad along and your siblings. You guys can all do this together. It's a nice, fun family activity. Okay, thank you.